<clears throat> Hi, I'm Jordan Long, and today I'm going to talk about how the YouTube shifters are met as a, as a style. You know, you think you can just go in there and make your film bright. At least that's the only thing I really, truly wanted to do. Well, you can't do that. And then again, if you watched all my other films in the past, you know that all the other uh, film shifting tools out there, and there's a lot of them, and how they're, how they're all how they're all die, how they don't really do what they're supposed to do, and unless you got a lot of time on your hands and you play around with them and make a film that you don't care about, that it gets that you just besmirch it and harm it, just so you can learn how that tool works. Well, you know what I think about them and you know what I said about them. So remember when I said a long time ago I wish I got a Ronald McDonald toy? So I could have them come on my YouTube channel. Well, I did. Only keep in mind that it's not the Ronald McDonald toy I was looking for, but it's good to nothing, you know. So, you know. I mean, so so here he is. Now, before I even get started with this film. Apparently, um, Ronald McDonald, a lot of folks have given him a bad name over the years. Some folks believe that he promotes overeating. Well, that's not true. The court of well, McDonald said Ronald McDonald promotes smiles and, and making, making folks happy. Okay. He never promoted folks overeating or anything like that, but that's uh, the hang-up. That's the uh, that's the uh, wrong seeking that someone believed, you know, why they wanted to get Ronald McDonald gone is some folks actually believed that he was uh, that he did overeating. That that's what he uh, was pushing, or that's what he was telling folks to do. You know, Ronald McDonald, his only thing was to make folks happy. That's what his thing was when McDonald said that's what it's always been about with him. Now, and over the years, Ronald McDonald has been replaced with the talking happy meal. I am not making this up. For anyone who's ever seen any McDonald shows after that, and you want to where where Ronald went, well, my, your guess is as good as mine, where Ronald went after that. But, you know, I have seeked him. Well, at least I thought I seeked him. Why are you, uh, why are you in a flight craft? I don't know why I'm in a flight craft for. You know. I don't know why I'm in a flight craft, but I'm here today, Jordan, to tell you that, that you were right about me. All right? There are some folks out there who want to give me a bad name, who want to besmirch my name by saying, oh, Ronald, all you do is want to get folks to overeat. All you want to do is get them to do uneating, unhealthy eating. Well, that's not true. I was about making folks happy. And I still am about making folks happy. That's what I've always been about. So why do folks think that? I don't know. I think it was the Burger King. He's the one that may came up with that. Well, I did have the Burger King on my show at one point, but he got himself thinking he was a football player from the NFL. And now you think you're some type of sky man or flight man who's flying a flight craft. Yeah, well, Jordan, you knew that this was the only kind of me there was. And you knew that you were never going to... You know, you should be happy you even got a, a, a toy like me. 
Yes. I wasn't saying that it was that it was wrong for Burger King to say to do that. I was saying that Sigwan I got of him. You know. And the one I got of Ronald McDonald is him and a flight craft. Now this whole thing goes on for a while. Now another thing that someone might ask about the whole shifting thing is that Everyone thinks that that was doesn't like. Well, my haters don't like, didn't like anything that wasn't smooth, anything that was flawless. And they thought that all I had to do to win them over was to play with one of their beloved shifting film shifting tools. Because lifelike made them mad. And. Yes, I can't shift that out, now can I? No, in true life, you cannot. And I wouldn't care what your haters had to say about you, Jordan. You're right. They would always talk about how unlifelike these films were. But these films were as lifelike as they were. You know? And it's like... Remember when you were younger, when I was younger, and I actually did get a seat, you know, a time to meet Ronald McDonald? Well, it was always something like this. Hi, I'm Ronald McDonald. Hi, uh, I'm Jordan Long. Ah, oh, good to meet you. Oh, you come to my uh, food house, my eating hall? Yes. Well, all right. And we'll take a likeness together. And uh, I don't really do that anymore. I mean, there used to be a time where McDonald's had all the McDonald's land South Hoods. You know, like Rubble Rubble and Mayor McCheese. And, you know, Chief Big Mac and Ronald McDonald and, you know, Grimace and all the other ones that I'm... That might not, if I forget. Well, they don't got that anymore. It's like they're all gone or something. I mean, it's sad, but at one time, that used to be the thing, you know. And then someone went through and seek to try to besmirch Ronald McDonald's name. And I'm sure they seek, they tried, they, you know, they seek to besmirch all the other names out there. I'm sure of it. But then again, these were South Hoods that weren't living beings, so besmirching their name wasn't even, wasn't truly happening. But it was just that they try, they seek to make Ronald McDonald look bad by saying that, oh, he want to get folks to overeat or something. And Ronald McDonald's about making folks happy. That's what he's always been about. I'm Jordan Long. And I'll see you later.